Hello Riverside community, Dr. Rotino here with another update. We're off to a great start to the school year. Our staff and students have been excited to be back in the classroom. I have personally enjoyed visiting all of our schools throughout the first few weeks to see firsthand the great things going on in all of our buildings. This has been a great way for me to meet with staff and students to get to know everyone. I encourage all parents and community members to attend our annual homecoming parade and pep rally which is scheduled for Thursday, September 21st at 6.30 p.m. I also encourage everyone to support our coaches and athletes this fall season by attending a cross country meet, a golf or tennis match, a volleyball or soccer game, or a football game. The atmosphere at these events is electric and we encourage you to come out and support our Riverside Beavers. I am also continuing to meet with parents and community members at our Coffee with Chris gatherings. I invite anyone to come to see these meetings so we can get to know each other. Please check our website for times and dates for these events. I am excited to share with you that Riverside High School has just recently achieved status as a U.S. News Best High School. Schools are ranked on their performance on state required tests, graduation rate, and how well students are prepared for college. Congratulations to our hardworking staff at all levels throughout the district, as well as our exceptional student body for making this possible. Lastly, it's no secret that we have been struggling with a bus driver shortage. If you or anyone you know is interested in joining our awesome transportation team, please reach out to us. Please hear from our transportation director, Kyle Andre, on what has been going on with the transportation department and how you can potentially help. Thank you, and go Beavers! In transportation, we cover about uh, 65 square miles of the district every day, uh, busing for our high school, our middle school, and our elementary schools. Um, we have about 35, 36 contracted drivers right now, um, seven or eight subs. A few of our subs are also um, employees elsewhere in the district. We have secretaries, custodians um, who are out driving um, every day. You know, right now we are short about four contracts um, that we would love to get drivers for, plus an additional, you know, um, four or five subs would always be great um, just to have kind of extra backup. Yeah, so the first step to um, becoming a bus driver here at Riverside is just applying and getting us the opportunity to run um, a background check. You know, we have an application that's posted on the Riverside website that you can send in. Um, from there, uh, if you don't have a CDL, you will go and get your commercial learner's permit uh, so that you are qualified to get behind the wheel of a bus and start training. Um, and then you'll work in-house with one of our uh, OBIs, one of our onboard instructors, um, to learn the tricks of the trade. So to learn how to drive the bus, to learn proper procedures for loading and unloading students, um, and that sort of thing. We are a fun family here in transportation. Um, you know, people really enjoy uh, coming to work and working with each other, and we're a really strong team. We work together as a team, um, and we're always excited to get you know new people coming in with us.